Joshua Furch has been working steadily for the past three years. During a time when the Valley has seen sky-high unemployment rates, this 24-year-old college dropout has been able to find work. Tell me a little bit about what you were doing. Oh yeah, we were doing uh, warehouse work. Joshua is part of a growing trend we are seeing in the labor market. An estimated two million people are working as temporary employees. I started working through my first job and um, uh, it lasted for about two, three weeks. And um, then I called them and I said, thank you for that job. And they said, okay, well, we have another job lined up for you. And did you guys figure out the um, pricing and everything? Yes. Stephanie Schwartz is with one of the largest temporary staffing agencies in the Valley. Here at Pride Staff, we've seen about a 50% increase um, in business over the past couple years. And she believes it's an indication that the economy is on an upswing, but that doesn't mean employers are ready to hire. Companies are just cautious to, to bring on full-time people. They're, they're still a little bit unsure about the economy. And so by using uh, temps, they're able to keep their costs down but um, while we supply them with flexible labor. It is also a way for companies to screen potential employees and test their skills. It helps to um, watch someone work uh, and see what their habits are, their, um, if they have a sense of urgency, if they're um, just something we're looking for. Dave Frost, manager with Sequin Performance, a distribution company for towing products, says this is his busiest season and the company hires temporary workers during this time of year. In my industry of warehousing and, and that uh, you know, distribution, I think it's a real good way to go. While there are clear benefits for employers to hire temps, it can also provide opportunities for the unemployed, opportunities that can lead to a permanent position. It's really getting in front of people, getting exposure to different industries, um, different positions, and, and also seeing where you might be, might be a good career fit for you. Schwartz says one of the first things employers look for is a consistent work history, and people who have gaps on their resumes have a tougher time landing a job. That is something Joshua is very aware of. Some companies are looking for what have you been doing in the last three months, opposed to, oh, I've been sitting at the house through Pride Staff, I'm going to work. Frost says temporary workers should treat each assignment like it's a permanent job. He firmly believes if you work hard, it will pay off. Well, I think you need to go in there with a, an attitude of, I'm going to work as hard as I can to show what I can do.